Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a review on the QIYI Square One or the Mofeng GE. <clears throat> so this is a new Square One that came out uh, recently, and it has been uh, quite an influence on the community and has a big uh, has a quite of a big impact on the community uh, in terms of Square One. So this is pretty much the best Square One that's out. Is all I'm going to say right now. So if you're considering on buying a Square One, this is probably the one you want to get. Um, it also comes in stickerless, which is the one I have right here, and they are decent shades, even on camera. Um, they pretty much con uh, they pretty much look like what they are on camera as well. So, if you like these shades, um, you can go buy them at the cubicle.us or any other store that carries them. Uh, this is the that's just where I bought mine. So size comparison, we're gonna start off with <clears throat> that. It's about a little bit smaller than a main. I'm not going to go too much into depth on that since the size of square one is relative to around a 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to go a little bit onto turning and just kind of turn it a little bit. So yeah, that's the turning of it. Uh, it has this, it's very smooth feeling and it flows very nicely. I think one of the appealing things about this cube is that it flows. It flows absolutely perfectly in my opinion. It can, it can transition into algorithms extremely well and it's almost effortless pretty much. So pretty much there on older square ones there really wasn't corner cutting. The one I modded did have some corner cutting but definitely not as good as this one. So the corner cutting here is around a little bit a little bit like this uh, in terms of square one that's a lot and yeah that's pretty good actually in terms of square one this is pretty good um, even the tiniest cuts is all you need really in square one you don't need huge slashes like this or huge um, slice layers like this and so in terms of that, you can see there's these little tiny holes here that help you with turning and corner cutting. So if there is that tiny catch, it also helps kind of slide right past the pieces real nicely. And uh, I did this to my square one as well. And it has pretty much a similar effect on here. So yeah, this is uh, has a really nice turning overall, very smooth, and it flows really nicely. The best or most appealing part about this cube. So I'm going to try to get into this mechanism a little bit. Um, whew. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I got it. I think. Yep, okay. So this is how they make it stickerless. They just make this part um, orange and then the very top white. So a very creative way, I think, of making it stickerless. So it kind of comes apart like that. And the corners kind of all fit into there. I don't want to take it completely apart because it is a complete pain in the butt to put back together or even just take apart in general. Um, there is a mod on this. It's a very simple mod. You just kind of super glue two pieces together and it works beautifully. Um, if you want to do that, I'll leave a link in the description on a video of that. It's in Spanish, but you know what? You don't need to understand him. You just need to watch it. <laughs> it's basically a visual learning guide. So it's not too bad. Also, um, you guys don't know, there are little ridges on these caps. I forgot where. Um, yeah, right here. I don't know if you guys, you guys definitely can't see that, but there is a little ridge. Oh yeah, you can, now you can. A uh, little ridge right here. And you can just kind of pull the caps off. So that's very convenient for there. And it's also on the other side somewhere. So yeah, it makes it convenient for taking apart, adjusting, tensioning, you know, things like that. Um, so is there any, you know, normal square one, there's always popping and locking. So does this cube have any locking? Well, yes and kind of no. Even though it flows really well, there is also some locking that's just unavoidable, just due to my turning style. And I think that's just unavoidable in almost any cube that I feel like lockups are pretty much like almost inevitable. And popping, I only had, I've had a few pops before I modded it because the, the edge pieces would kind of bump up. But after the mod, I've only had one pop out of like 200 solves. So it's really not that bad, honestly. 
So the popping is something you should you should not worry about in this cube. So overall, what do I really think of this cube? I think it's an amazing square one, and you guys should go out and buy one. Even if you're om even if you're not into it, this I feel like this cube will make you get into it. It's that good. I think it's it's really uh, revolutionary in terms of square one, and. Now that we have a good square one, people can actually start getting good at it and getting better times. Um, now that we have a good one, so like, for example, uh, in 6x6, six six, we really don't have a solid one that we like. Uh, I guess the Aoshi could count, but you have to like, break it in a ton. Uh, so it's not really something that we would, like, there's no instant type of main. So like for 5x5, four, five five, there is the, you know, the Yuxin, pretty easy, or even the Bua Chuang, which I haven't tried yet, but for me, it would just be the Yuxin, or 4x4, four four, it would be, for me, it would be the Yuxin, or, oh, what was it, the Mini Aosu, one of those two. It's pretty simple, and you can pretty much narrow down to two. In Square 1, now you can pretty much narrow it down to this cube. The Chi E Square 1 is the best Square 1 on the market, or the Mofeng GE, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it is solidly the best Square 1 on the market. So I highly recommend it. So now I'm just going to mix it up and do a few solves. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, yes, I'm not going to use real scrambles because I'm too lazy to pull that up. <clears throat> okay, this is probably going to be bad. But uh, maybe not. No, it's going to be bad. Oh, come on. I did the wrong one. That would have been a good sell. I messed up. I did the wrong one. It would be, I think, this one. Yeah. And this way it would be. Okay. So I'm going to do one more sell. Is this? No, it can't be. Oh, it is. Okay. I guess so. Um, I still suck at this, so... Okay, so this... Slash into there. So yeah, that's, this is my review on the Mofeng GE, or QIY, I forget which one, the square one. And yeah, uh, this is my review of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video.